I'm in mission to get back up there. Oh, that. Done the bit. Need to do it on the water so we can go fishing. Man, thought I was gone then. River looks beautiful though, it's really low. I've come further down the system than where I normally fish. Try and get away from the crowd a bit, but proper low today, so let's see how we go. Pretty excited. Um, much like when I was out last time, we've got overcast conditions, uh, sort of mid afternoon at the moment, fish till dark, and try and get my kayak back up that hill. Um, yeah, I worked my way through a few different levels today and see if I can find something they're cheering on. So, the plan today is uh, work my way downstream and then I'll just fish my way back up to where the ute is. Uh, it's going to take a while to get back up that hill where I'll put the kayak down. So, this fish, we have very similar overhead conditions to when I went out last weekend. It was very tough fishing. Uh, it was meant to be a bit of a shower come through this afternoon and it'll stay overcast, but hopefully. Sort of rotate through the lures a bit more today and see if I can find something to get them biting because I know they're in here. Gotta find what they want to eat. At I still go on at it. Not sure the treble's helping me here. Still can't get a hook up. He belted that. Quickly going to change over to this timber cutter fuel lure. Take the bull shot off and chuck back in where that fella just missed the plastic. Really struggling with the hook up with the plastic, so I'd love any pointers on how to ring a rig a stinger hook if anyone's got them. Um, yeah, I'll put that travel on the be belly of the tail on that plastic, but there's two hits there in the last five minutes and neither have hooked up so. Needing something to increase my strike rate a bit. Right, I'll roll this cut a fear through it. See if that little fellow will come back. Chuck one up this side, make sure he's swimming right. That. <laughs> that was cool. Bit of a tricky spot here, got the current going under the log. Just drag him up here. Nice one to start the day. Healthy fella. See if his mate's on the other side of the log still.
And don't you tell him I'm up here, will you, mate? There we get tearing two cars off this log. First cast on the cut of fear, that's a good start then. Third cast as well. It's probably the little files hit me plastic before. These are the spots I'm expecting the fish to be concentrated today. There's, it's a real chuck spot here, this log goes right across. Got good flow under this log. With the river bank so low, they're gonna be congregated in these higher flow spots where there's gonna be a bit more oxygen for them. They're the bits we're gonna target today. That's a pretty good example of where they're sitting. And the lure change worked. Two fish in three casts. Come up here and we'll have a look at you, buddy. <laughs> Pop that cut of fear out. Should've got my pliers. Much smaller fella, but still good fun. Thanks, mate. Do more casting and see how many more hungry ones there are. Oh, you're kidding me. Three hits in four casts. Congregated here. He's hitting it. There we go. He's still sitting under there. There must be a heap of them in there. There he is. Number three. Got something big in his guts. I'm glad I walked out on this log to have a cast. Seems a bit bigger than the one that hit me lure on that cast before, so another one in there. Thanks, mate. Keep going. That was cool. Just sitting there waiting for that way, mate. And their little bike, that was cool eight. Very tempted to put a surface saw on this other rod because they fired up if you get in their face. Another nice little bike. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Just been sitting in behind that log. That scared me. It's a little fella. I'd already clicked the clicked the rail in the gear for my next car. So he came up and took it late. Hey, buddy.
Det är det bästa. Det är det Right up this afternoon. It's number five. I haven't been fishing for that long. He's just sitting in that bit of backwater. He's probably the best fish of the afternoon so far. Keep going. Cockatoos are coming over yarn to me. The river's choir. The way that fish hit the lower back there as soon as they hit the water convinced me that there's enough overcast here to put the surface lure on. Can't beat a daytime surface bite, so I'll roll this through any likely looking spots where it's pretty shallow in tight near some timber. Any active sort of spots, I'll do this and then roll the bib lure in underneath it. Uh, hopefully I can get a daytime surface bite. Boiled at it. Boiled at it. Let's see. Then I hit the big blower. There we go. Works almost every time. They're boiling at the surface, all right. Put something under the water that they'll take. Number six for the afternoon. This is good. Good up here. Really good timber coming up here, too. Give yourself away, mate, on the surface, though. Another little fella. Oh, I think you got it. You did. How's that? Man, I wasn't ready for that. Yo! And then a little fella. Right, that is a daytime surface bite. Cranky little man. Fired up about something this afternoon. Don't really want to. I'm quickly let him go. Back buy some more cast into his snag. How good was that? Kidding me? Don't think he'll come back. I'm pretty sure he grabbed hold of that, but just trying to let that lower drift down onto that log. But as soon as I moved it, he grabbed hold of it. Over his head again, so he's still cranky about something. This is madness. Alright, I'll do the old trick. If he's not spooked, he should eat this. Oh, he had a go at it. That surface strike was cool.
Oh, there we go, we got him that time. Oh, he's not a bad fish. How good's that? They come back. They're very fired up this afternoon and they keep coming back like that. The fishing is pretty good. Another average size one. That's cool. <laughs> Was not expecting that. He's fished a good fish too. Oh man. Haha. <laughs> Five o'clock. This fellow's just come up and belted surf so I'll just get him over to the bank here. Keep him on hopefully. been quiet for an hour or so so I've decided to work my way back up past the ute I haven't got to the, where the ute is yet but work my way back upstream and then I'll drift back down as the light fades this fella's come off a snag where I already caught one before get him up here and have a look at him Pretty nice cod. About 70 centimetres, thereabouts. Here it is. Oh, I just took surf, sir, on that cooler bunk cod cracker. A really nice fish, he'd be, I might quickly put him on the mat, he's probably a little bit over 70. We'll get him back. Thanks for the ride, buddy. <laughs> this is madness. M A D Daytime Surface Bites. Oh, go easy on me, mate. I stole a shred of my thumb. This surface bite is crazy. Fish. Come up here, buddy. Wow, he hammered that. And a little fella. Man, he nailed that. You fish are M A D. That was a cool bite, buddy. Thanks, mate. 
Quick look at you and off we go. Oh, he's a good fish. He'd be getting up near that 72, probably very high 60s. He'll just fall in the belly. Thanks, buddy. How good. Oh, what have I done there? Feels like a good fish, but he's got me straight on the timber. He grabbed that and snagged me up at the same time. Probably not there anymore. It's a good fish too. Mate, you grabbed that at the same time that hit the log. Number 11. The guts are so full there. Very healthy, these fish. Thanks, buddy. Oh. No, it didn't hook up. Don't think he's going to come back. Bugger. Bugger, bugger, bugger. He looked alright. Oh, he did come back. You clown, he missed it again. What? <laughs> Do I throw it in there again, or do I go under the water to hook him up? Let's try and hook him. You've seen the air show, he's jumped out of the water at it twice. Cranky, cranky boy. Oh, he's not going to do it again. Uh, I didn't want to finish with the two misses, so I'll trawl back to the ute. We've hooked one. Oh, he's a nice one too. Trawling through, there's a lot of timber on the sander back through there. It's a couple of metres deep. We've run out of light, so I thought I'd just trawl back to the ute. And we've hooked ourselves another bit close to 70 centimetre fish. It's number 12 for the day. Come up here, buddy. I don't know how well he's hooked, but. Big as that other one before, it'd be 70 something centimetres. Beautiful cod. Let him go, not far back to the we just kept trolling and might get another one yet. Thanks, mate. Oh, there's 
There's another fish. As soon as the timber lights up, the sounder lights up with timber. Hasn't done any fighting, so I assume he's a little fella. No, oh, he's not too bad. Come up here, mate. Now he's doing his fighting. Realised he's hooked. Yeah, it's beautiful. Oh, don't mind up, you come. Had your fun. The bad fish on the troll again. Ah, my thumb. Look at him. Oh, he's very healthy, this one. Solid fish. 60 something, too. Very healthy fish. Thanks, buddy. What a beautiful afternoon. That's the end of this session. We end up with 13 cod. A couple of nice quality ones mixed in there. Um, yeah, had a, had a ball this afternoon. Sort of found them fish sitting in the higher current water. Um, caught them in clusters, sort of. Caught a lot out of the same sort of spot. Uh, lures that did the damage were they cut a few, uh, I think it's a mud hunting, 100 mil or something like that, and the cooler bone cod cracker. Uh, you can't beat them surface bites mid afternoon. Um, yeah, anyway, now I'm going to try and get my kayak back up here to these trees. It's just over top of that hill, she's quite a bank. Um, so I'll spend the next hour or so trying to get up there. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Like and subscribe if you want to see more content. See you next time.